Hi, we're in Squirrel Hill North with Eric Singer. Eric, nice to nice to see you. Good to see you. So, Eric, tell me about uh, your story. I mean, you you didn't grow. You weren't born in Pittsburgh. No, I was born in New York City. All right. Then I lived uh, in Connecticut for uh, 18 years, but that didn't really count. Then I went to Carnegie Mellon. Uh -huh. uh, sort of consider myself a New Yorker. Uh -huh. Went from, because I lived there for six months, and then I moved back there, so I don't sort of count the time in between. In between, yeah, no. and but now, now I consider myself a Pittsburgher. Now though. you're a Pittsburgher, for yeah. sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, what brought you to Pittsburgh? Why did you want to come to Pittsburgh? Well, I've been in New York for a long time. Uh, kind of got, learned everything I know in New York. Uh, got a lot out of it, and then it got to the point where it's just the New York struggle. Once I say, well, like, once you get all the pleasure out of New York, all that's left is the pain. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's really expensive. Um, everything's going on there, but if you want to do your own stuff, it's great to be in a place like Pittsburgh. And I couldn't be happy to be here, happier to be here now. Uh, my New York friends don't believe it until they come visit, but they're like, oh, wow, you pay how much for this much space? Yeah. And that kind of stuff. So. I guess a background is also what do you what do you do professionally? What do you do? I mean, like yeah, uh, everything. Everything. Well, I mean, um, art, art and engineering. Okay. Uh, and and you know, a bunch of side interests, projects like that. Uh, but uh, my main thing for the last long while has been creating robotic musical instruments mm -hmm. uh, with a group called Lemur that I started in two thousand. That's kind of uh, what people mostly know me for. And since I've been here, uh, you know, still doing that, I did some teaching at uh, Carnegie Mellon mm -hmm. uh, uh, School of Fine Arts. One of your alma maters. My, yeah, one of my alma maters. Uh, I'm a, I collect college degrees for <laughs> fun. Uh, and uh, currently doing some consulting for uh, a, um, large entertainment concern run by a mouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? Um, not that that isn't enough, but uh, also working, on, uh, working on the Fire Arts Festival, as I was mentioning before, the right. second annual Pyrotopia So Fire where does Arts that take Festival. place? Uh, to be announced okay. very shortly. We want to make sure everything's set with yeah. the location, but uh, in the next couple of weeks we'll announce the festival and start doing a call for artists. And, Things like that, but you also but do gonna fire the, art. It's going to be in the fall too. Now, as as not just um, robotic uh, musical instruments, you also do stuff that involves fire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thus, the fire arts festival. Uh, I create. I I don't perform with fire like you're used to seeing spinners and uh, dancers with fire and things like that. I create fire sculptures, interactive fire pieces. Um, fire cannons that can be sequenced from a drum machine. Uh -huh. Uh, a version of the game Simon, yeah. but with flamethrowers. Yeah. So you have to follow the pattern of the explosions. So you do art all around, I mean, all around, I guess, the nation, maybe even the world. I don't know. Do, do you, you, you often go lots of different places, I know. Yeah, I, I travel. Uh, I'm, I've got a show in New York next weekend with the, the robots and Dan Deacon at the Met. Uh, it should be really interesting. I don't yet know what to expect. I know so percussion is part part of it, and Dan and the guitar bots will be there. Yeah, you have these automatic guitar playing robots. Yes. Yeah. Or or, or self playing guitar like robots. Uh -huh. so they don't look like guitars, no. and they don't really look like robots. But well, they have strings. They, they have six. They have strings. Six strings or they have strings and they have picks. And they have picks. Okay. Yes. And little tiny things that go up and down. Yeah. That actuate. Yeah. Yeah. And so so you go all these different places, but Pittsburgh's still your home base. Yeah. Uh, you know, now and uh, indefinitely. Mm -hmm. uh, I never thought I'd leave New York. Now I never think I will leave Pittsburgh. Because it's your home. I mean, what, why did you decide to make it your home? I mean, I know the, the, the rent is cheap. Cheaper than New yeah, York. I mean, but that's that's not like a really great selling point. No, it's not. <laughs> for a place, the rent, is, over. the rent rent is cheap, cheap. And, yeah, rent is cheap in a lot of places that I wouldn't want to live. Right. Um, because I've had a lot of friends here, still do. Uh -huh. uh, I knew the city was kind of on the up and up, but honestly, I was really surprised to see how far it's come, right. how far we've come yeah. as a city uh, in terms of art and culture 
business, uh, the prominence of the universities. There's just, you know, there's so much going on here now. It's kind of incredible. One of the other things is uh, some friends of mine uh, from New York. Well, I met them when I was here. They founded an improv theater about two years ago, uh -huh. uh, comedy improv theater. And now there are a few hundred improvisers in Pittsburgh where there weren't before. So it's what I say to people is like, if you can't find it in Pittsburgh, you can just start it yourself. Just make it. Yeah. Do you think there's going to be uh, like robotic improv? Robots? Um, uh, robotic comedy improv? Yeah, yeah robots well, that actually, can comedy improvise. Um, there is a woman in uh, the Robotics Institute at uh, Carnegie Mellon, uh -huh. who does have a stand-up comedy robot? Oh right, yes, yeah, uh, yeah. I would, you know, I'd I'd be the band. Yeah. For for that kind you of could show, be like jazz jazz improv. I, I could robots. be like the like the Tonight Show band. Yeah. And the robot could be Jay Leno. And, and it would have it would, its comp computed top ten list. It would be actually top right, ten. Right. Right, and and it would interview can openers and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah, quote it and stuff. That'd be great. I think I think I would actually I would go see that. I, yeah, I would too. Yeah, um, and so I guess tell me about your perspectives as a student. You came here as a student. Yeah, the first time. Undergrad at Carnegie Mellon. Undergrad at Carnegie Mellon. Then so you had one way of, of viewing Pittsburgh and seeing Pittsburgh. Then you came back again, and I guess those views changed, and maybe this this the the city changed. But well, the city changed a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's more than ten years ago uh, mm -hmm. when I was a student here. Uh, it, I mean, in that time, it has gone from a bunch of a kind of isolated neighborhoods and communities and and when you're a student at Carnegie Mellon at least you know back then that's where you were mm -hmm. you know you would go into Oakland every so often you might go see a movie in Squirrel Hill but you weren't connected the way things are now right uh, I go I mean I, I find myself in three or four different neighborhoods pretty much every day mm -hmm. uh, meeting with people uh, networking things like that, working on projects, all kinds of stuff. So you network so. with other artists? Is there a big artist community in Pittsburgh? Yeah, huge. Uh -huh. uh, I, I think one of the largest, considering the size of the population, probably in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, another great thing is the uh, community support for artists, not just from the public, but from the foundations. I think, uh, I don't know the statistics on it, but I would think it's one of the largest arts granting communities uh, yeah. in the country per capita, you know, yeah. based. And the, and the uh, um, foundations that fund art are very progressive and very forward thinking. Uh, in New York, I could not, I would have n never even gone to a foundation to ask them for money for a fire arts festival. <laughs> Uh, in at, in Pittsburgh, I got three foundations behind that. That's insane. And yeah, it it was insane. It's like that. I, I tell that as a kind of iconic story. Yeah. About Pittsburgh, you just you know come up with a crazy idea. Like this. Do it we're and yeah, in it. and we we are sitting in. This, this, this would is not fly in New York. Right. We this is even find parking. Right. You. <laughs> you you'd be to we'd be towed, we'd be towed right we'd, now. We'd be doing a show <laughs> in the back of a tow truck. Yes. Yeah. Um, and they would be ticking at us. Ticketing us and booting us at the same time. Yeah. It would not be good. No, it wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, and not just that you can do that stuff, but that people do. People yeah. just can, you know, my uh, friend decided she wanted to do an accordion party in the uh, Leslie Park pool, uh -huh. which is in a, a dry pool yeah. in Lawrenceville. So she got some foundation money and she did it and yeah. she's continuing to do things like that. You guys are driving all over the... Uh, city and county and wherever doing uh, talk show and so stuff like that happens uh, there's so many creative people here yeah. and there's not the these barriers to getting stuff done you know you come up with a it's good a idea and attitude. yeah yeah like Carne Carnegie that was his like his attitude it was just yeah. do something that's it <laughs> yeah get it done and, and then the cool thing is that all of the robber barons famous <laughs> robber barons from Pittsburgh felt guilty at the end of their lives and they endowed these huge foundations yeah. which now continue to do really great film on the arts work. and yeah. whatever yeah things like that and yeah. and then Squirrel Hill is your home though um, so why did you choose Squirrel Hill as your home uh, I was kind of familiar with the neighborhood mm -hmm. from you know old days I had some friends living around here but mm -hmm. really you know I have friends in all different communities uh, it's a nice place to live it's got green space uh, it's got 
good houses, a lot of